Hello and welcome to the Cyber Video Tutorial on working with database files in the JMagic program. Database files, also known as flat files and label files, are one of the more popular methods for passing variable data to MarkMagic so that it can be printed on your labels and forms. This is achieved with variable fields as well as data fields and I will be demonstrating the use of both methods in this video. Unlike with spool files, to set up your format for using a database file, you do not need to already have your file populated with data. You just need to know the order that the data will be in in your file and the length of each field. Many of our customers actually find it easier to create the format first and then adjust or generate the database file to match it. And this is the method we'll be using in this video. As you can see, we are starting out with a template for a shipping label. We will be expecting a customer's name, the shipping address, and tracking number to be in our file. And furthermore, we will also expect that the shipping address be broken up into separate fields for the street address, the state, the city, and the zip code. Let's begin with the shipping address portion of our label. The customer name and street address fields do not need to be altered or manipulated in any way, so we will just be using variable fields for this. To create them, I will need a text field. and we need to change the field name from star heading to something descriptive. We also need to set the length for this field. We're going to set it to max at 20 characters. <coughs> we need to repeat this process for the first street address line. Again, we're going to set the length to 20. It's important for both these fields to keep the variable length as yes, so that it will eliminate any white space. For the last portion of the street address, we need to do some formatting. So we're going to create data fields for the city, state, and zip. And again, we need to change the names here. So we're going to change this to city. And we're going to give it a length of 15. State will be abbreviated, so the length there will be 2. And the zip code will have a length of 5. We'll need one last data field in order to format our address. And that one will stay as a star heading data field and will contain a comma and a space. Next, we create a text field to place on our form. We change the field name to star link, and you'll notice this link fields tab. Click on the link fields tab, and you'll see a list of source fields on the left, and then fields that will be included in this text field on the right. The first thing we want to put here is the city. Next, we want to add our star heading field with the comma in the space. It's important to change the variable length on this field to no so that it does not eliminate the space at the end as it's important for our formatting. You will also want to make sure the variable length for your city is set to yes so that way it does take out any extra spaces uh, that don't fill up the 15 characters. Next we want to add our state, and then we want to once again add our star heading field. This time, however, the variable length set to no, and the starting position at 2 will change the length to 1. Now we will only be including a space, and it will not be using the comma. Lastly, we want to add the zip code to the field, and press OK. Now we want to include our tracking number on our label. We want to have it as a barcode as well as human readable text. So in order to use it in multiple locations, we want to create a data field. <coughs> we'll change the name here to tracknum and give it a length of 20. Now we can create our barcode. And we will use Code 128 auto switch barcode. We'll 
press OK. And we need to change the name here to star link. And in the link fields tab, we want to add our track num data field. Press OK. To stretch this out so that it fits a little bit, we'll go to the display tab. Let's try a narrow barcode width of 5. Let's see how that looks. All right, it's roughly centered. Next, we want to create a text field. And like the barcode field, change it to star link. And in the link fields tab, add the tracking number. Now that your label is complete, you are ready to create your label file and start to do test printing with variable data. There's a separate video tutorial on how to create a label file in JMagic. Please refer to cyber.com for that video. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you.